everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to another Fursuit Friday video. No matter what fandom circles you're in, one thing that most of us have in common is a love for cartoons and animation. Whether you like lighthearted stuff, action, drama, comedy, or horror, there's probably some piece of animation that's near and dear to you. So, when Cartoon Network announced the 2019 reboot of the 80s cartoon Thundercats, the internet wasn't exactly kind. Particularly, they criticized the art style, with a lot of people referring to the Thundercats as getting the Teen Titans Go treatment. The phrase Teen Titans Go treatment is characterized by the art style of many popular 2010-era TV shows, such as Steven Universe, Gravity Falls, The Amazing World of Gumball, and of course Teen Titans Go. One term I've heard is the cow art style, but I'm not sure exactly how many of these shows fall into that specific category. I don't know, man. I'm not an artist. But anyways, let's dive in and talk about... Thundercats Roar! The first thing I noticed right off the bat was the character designs. Having watched the original Thundercats cartoon when I was younger, I was a little off-put by the way they portrayed the characters. I mean, when you put the new ones right next to the originals, it's not hard to see why diehard fans were frustrated. But then I saw the intro sequence for the show. After I was able to set aside the characters, I actually really liked the pacing, the color choices, the settings, and how simply dynamic it looks. And when you put it side by side with the Teen Titans Go intro, it just looks like there's so much more happening there. And I know I'm being optimistic here, but I really hope that the rest of the show looks like that when it gets released on television. Like if the show as a whole can surprise me the way that the intro sequence did, I think it's gonna be okay. I'm also really excited about the environments and the settings that they showed in the opening credits. I mean, if they can make the whole world as colorful and interesting as all the settings that they showed in the intro, I think there's plenty of potential there. Also, I'm a really big fan of the way they use that sort of sweeping camera effect. The first thing that came to mind when I saw that being used was the introductory sequence to Adventure Time. And if you're wondering why they're not doing a super serious, in-depth relaunch based really closely off the original cartoon, they tried that already. There was an attempted reboot in 2011 on Cartoon Network's Toonami Block. But after one season, it was put on hiatus, and in 2013, it was confirmed that they were cancelled after 26 episodes, despite a relatively positive response from viewers. So, looking past the interesting proportions, the colon three faces, and the pain of hearing this noise at the end of their promo spot, Oh goodness. I really think this show deserves a fighting chance regarding public opinion. Cause the way I see it, these reboots aren't trying to replace the old shows. And when you get down to it, this is a show produced for children, so the most important thing is that the intended regular viewing audience enjoys it. Now I understand that these franchises and series are incredibly important to a whole generation of viewers, and they don't want to see them potentially tarnished. But isn't it a good thing that studios still find those franchises valuable enough to want to produce content surrounding them? And who knows, maybe the audience that watches Thundercats Roar will grow up with a love for the characters and the world surrounding them, and they'll branch off to viewing the original 1980s cartoon. Or maybe the 2011 reboot. And while many people are understandably afraid that this could harm a series that they love, consider the possibility that this could extend its lifespan by a whole other generation. And I'm not guaranteeing that it'll be good, but the team behind it seems enthusiastic enough, so I'm willing to give it a chance before I close the door on it. So thanks a bunch for watching this week's Fursuit Friday video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Are there any reboots that you've enjoyed so far? Maybe there's an older cartoon series that you would love to see recreated. I would love to hear about it in the comments down below. I do read every single comment and I try to reply to as many as possible. Also, if you really enjoyed this week's video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe for new videos every week. And if you want to directly support the content that I produce on this channel, my merch store and Patreon links are in the description box below. And speaking of patrons, I want to thank these beautiful Patreon supporters for producing today's video. And I want to thank these lovely patrons for sponsoring today's video. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video.